Hey, Nancy here from American Pet Professionals. And did you know it's trade show season here in the pet industry? Well, it's actually all year long that we have trade shows. And in this video, I'm going to give you three tips on how to have a successful trade show. Okay, so tip number one, and this is going to seem really super basic, but it's one of the most important things that you need to do in order to have a successful trade show. You need to be prepared. Yes, you have to be prepared. Okay, so what am I talking about being prepared? If you are a vendor and you're going to be at a trade show, whether it's a business-to-business -business trade show, you're at a veterinary conference, you want to be prepared with all of your marketing materials, all of your products ahead of time. So you want to make sure you have enough business cards, enough brochures, enough wholesale order sheets, enough flyers, any other marketing materials that you'll be handing out to people. Some people like to give the little thumb drive with all the information and the photos. That usually goes to the press, but you still want to make sure you have enough of those. Order 20% more of what you think you're going to have. It's better to have leftover business cards it's better to have leftover brochures it's better to have leftover wholesale sheets that you're writing orders for any marketing materials any press releases that you're doing always order more so you want to be prepared with all of those marketing materials and that also goes for having banners having the right pop-up having the right tablecloth that's branded anything that you're going to put in your trade show booth that you want to look professional you want to make sure you're prepared and you have that ahead of time. Another sub tip of being prepared is make sure that if you're traveling to the event, you know where you're supposed to ship your uh, materials, whether you're shipping products or your marketing materials to the event ahead of time. Make sure that you're in constant contact with the show administration so you get that stuff there ahead of time. I've been at plenty of trade shows where people are scrambling because their order didn't get there in time or they can't find their order because they shipped it at the last minute. Ship it when it's supposed to be shipped. And another sub tip is make sure that you book your travel ahead of time. You may have gotten your flight, but did you get the hotel? Make sure you book your hotel because those hotels book out fast for the venues. So that's tip number one. There's a lot of tips in being prepared. So tip number two, are you ready? It's very simple. Stand up and smile. <laughs> okay, so you want to make sure that you're engaging with your audience that's walking by. You're going to have buyers. You're going to have retailers and distributors walking by your booth. You do not want to be sitting and not paying attention. And what am I talking about? I'm sure you've noticed this too if you've been at trade shows. This creepy little device here. <laughs> a lot of people tend to sit and look at their phone. So here's a couple of sub tips. Don't sit and look at your phone. Again, you want to be engaged with the people that are going by. But what you can do is let people know that you're going to be out of town at a trade show with a bounce back on your email, that you will get to emails when you can, or set a specific time. I'll answer emails between 8 and 8.30 or 7 and 7.30 a.m. each day if I can get to it. And set that so you're not worried about checking your email. And let your friends and family know, too, that you're going to be at a work event. <laughs> you don't want to be taking phone calls all day long on your phone. And the other thing that you might want to do while you're at the trade show is, of course, you want to post on social media. Absolutely. I think that's really important for letting people know that you're at the show. However... You don't have time to sit there and type down on your phone and do your Instagram and your Facebook and Twitter, or whatever it is, while people are walking by your booth. That's the whole reason you're there, right? So here's a really simple tip. Go into your notes section a few days before the event on the plane there and write out what you want people to see about your booth. All in the notes section of your phone, hit save, take photos of your booth and all of your products ahead of time the night before when you're all set up, the first morning that you're there. And then when you have a lull or first thing in the morning, post on your social media accounts where you are because it's already done. You're not sitting there typing and looking down and ignoring people that are walking by. The other thing that you can do is if you're fortunate enough to have a team of people there, assign one person to do the social media. It will make life so much easier if you have a marketing person that you can hire or a marketing person on your team that usually handles your social media. Have them do it. 
Okay, so tip number three. I know I've given you guys way more than two tips, but tip number three is know your message. Now, if you're a solopreneur, you could probably recite your pitch, your message, what your product is, what the product's made of, how long you've been doing this, everything else about your product in your sleep. You could probably pitch it in your sleep. You probably do and you just don't know. But if you have a team there with you, or maybe if you're a solopreneur and you have a friend or you hired a salesperson on site to be there, or you have a family member with you, they more than likely are not going to know your product or brand as well as you. You want to make sure that if you walk away, if you take a break, if you're not at your booth for an extended period of time, that whoever is there representing your booth can talk about your product and what you have to offer just as if you were there. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to trade shows, pet consumer shows, and I walk over and I see a really fantastic product or a really interesting product and I'm like, wow, this is great. And I start asking the person there questions and they say, oh, well, the owner of the company just walked away. Um, She'll be back in a little while. Or I don't really know that much about it. It's my husband's business. I'm just here for the show. It's, I think it's really not that hard for whoever you have there with you to really learn about the product, and they should be able to do it. Otherwise, why are they there? Just to relieve you? But you want to make sure that the people that are in your booth are representing your product and brand the way you would represent it. So those are my three tips on having a successful trade show. I know there was a lot of other tips wrapped into those, and I know there's a lot more that goes into having a successful trade show. So if you stayed until the end, right below in the notes section, you'll see the link on how you can get a downloadable document with a lot of other information, tips, and know-how to have a successful trade show event. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share it, and leave us a comment. And if you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer. And I'll see you at the next trade show.